If Sasquatch are real and they're like the other primates, they're going to have similar vocalizations. Alerts, calls, mating calls. I mean, it'll run the gamut, but I would anticipate that they're very similar to those types of sounds. One of the more common vocalizations is often described as a high-pitched scream, like a woman being murdered in the woods. Um, sometimes they're long and drawn out. Sometimes they're short, like this. <laughs> Other times, you hear the long, sort of mournful howls, often described as the Ohio howl, because Matt recorded that for the first time back in Ohio in 1995. Uh, like that, like a siren -y kind of sound. But then I've also had squatches come up to me, like when I've been, like, you know, making a bunch of noise and this and that, come to me and do like the, uh, like that kind of grunt. Growly kind of thing, like a, like kind of like that. It is my personal hypothesis that Sasquatches actually speak to each other in what might be a language or some sort of early proto language or something. They sound much like very large men grumbling back and forth to each other. Some people say it sounds like a samurai chatter or something, and actually that's what that sort of vocalization is now named. Like, they sound better than that, the squatches do. I think knocks are definitely them locating each other. It's just how they keep head count where they are. And I've also been, how many people there are with us walking around, how many knocks correspond to how many people there are. Not always, but that has happened. Another interesting vocalization or sound that Sasquatches make, especially when up close, are whistles. These have actually been recorded on a number of occasions. I've actually recorded whistling by Sasquatches myself. These whistles are really interesting because whistling behavior is something that's been reported for thousands of years amongst the Native Americans of the Pacific Northwest. In fact, one of the incarnations, I guess if you want to call it, of Sasquatches in Native American mythology is called Zanaqua. She's the wild woman of the woods, and she's often depicted on totem poles with a puckered mouth because she whistles at night. This large, hairy giantess of the woods that are, supposedly comes out and steals your children, if they've been bad in a boogeyman sort of way, is always depicted as whistling. And sure enough, Sasquatches whistle too. Now the guys, they have their vocalizations that they believe sound like a Sasquatch. Well, I don't believe in Sasquatch, but at the same time, I don't want to be inflammatory. So if I'm out looking for a Sasquatch, I think I want to try to call out to one, be a little bit of a yoo-hoo. Hello, Mr. Sasquatch, come find me. It became my yodel, which of course is just a little bit of a yoo-hoo. It hasn't worked yet. 